Okay, welcome to Catch Can. This is day seven Aww. of our cruise. We are almost there. This is our last port, kind of. We are doing a vlog day in Seattle, so if you're interested in uh, what to do when you're in Seattle before or after, you're definitely going to want to stick around. Enough about that. Let's talk about Catch Can. What are we doing today, Kayla? We are doing the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. Yeah, we are. That's why I'm all in plaid. Mm -hmm. I know. I kind of missed the memo on that. I probably should have yeah. done that. You bought me this. I did. <laughs> For I this. I did buy it for this occasion and everything, yeah. yeah. See, I spend so much time thinking about you, I forget about myself. Yeah. You look good though. Look <laughs> uh, good. So today's going to be a very weird day. Because it's, like it's starting out at like 9 degrees, so it's like a little brisk. In the sun, it's hot already. And it's going up to 22 degrees. Which is, I don't know in Fahrenheit, but it's very hot. hot. For Alaska, yeah. not oh, what I packed 100%. for. And again, Ketchikan's like supposed to be really rainy. There's not a cloud in sight now. Yeah, knock on wood. Yeah. It doesn't rain on us, but we are prepared if it does. Mm -hmm. We've got a backpack full of stuff. Rain jacket, umbrella, yep. all that jazz. So we're doing the early morning uh, lumberjack one. It's at 8.45. Come explore Ketchikan with us. Mm -hmm. This is such a little cute little port town. I love yeah. the vibe of these Alaskan towns uh, a lot. And Kayla was just looking up directions onto this lumberjack place. Pretty so easy. Right I think she said we get off the ship, we walk forward to the stop sign, and we turn right. Right on Main Street. And, and it's then right it's there. On the left. Oh, I can actually see it. That's incredible. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to see this. And uh, I've heard Ooh. it's like world renowned, you know. Kettle corn. Oh. My favorite kind. Kayla of loves corn. kettle corn. <laughs> Love Guys, this is gonna be a fun day, just exploring. And eating more. I don't know how. Yep. Eating. Great. Alaskan Lumberjack Show. We are 30 minutes early. Mm -hmm. um, but it did say it arrived 15 minutes before. So it maybe did. we just go and get our tickets settled Check and then. Check in and then we can try to pick a spot to come back later for like maybe a snack or a drink. Oh, definitely. It looks like there's a lot of choices. So I love that. I had to get the popcorn here. It's smelling so good. The second we walked in, it hit you in the face. Oh God, it smells so good. Everyone's it getting them too. too. It's only two bucks. Popcorn, and it's so salty and buttery. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. They divided the crowd into a Team Canada, Team Canada, and Team, Team USA. USA. So we had to switch sides. I mean, we had to come back to Canada. Yeah, I've got to represent. We're already in the U.S. But it looks so. like they like make a little fun competition. There's going to be what a Canadian. Lumberjack house, and, and then, then uh, US, house. US said. Mm -hmm. be a lot of he fun. also said that it rains 13 to 16 feet a year in Alaska. Yeah, and this is him. and this is the best day that We're they're gonna, gonna have get all year. Probably all year. Which is incredible. So yay. <laughs> Just goes with our luck that we've been getting with the weather. So you know what to do. Cheer your man on or heck on.
right, that was the uh, L Great Lumberjack Show. Mm -hmm. That was uh, kind of a lot of fun. Kalo, I'm curious to see what you think because you were like kind of skeptical about it. I wasn't so much skeptical. Like beforehand, when I was like, I want to see the Lumberjack Show, you're like, you want to see the Lumberjack? Uh, yeah, but it was really, really, really cool. Yeah, they These were. People are very talented. Yeah, not only that, very they were pretty. Funny. funny and like cracking jokes and that yeah, kind of thing. I liked it a lot. Yeah, actually. very talented, obviously too. Oh, yeah. Like it looks so tiring and. Yeah, I couldn't do any of the stuff that they do. Yeah, so they didn't really respect. want you recording in there, uh, so I just took a couple, you know, little short <laughs> videos just so you guys could see. It'd be like advertising for them. It's mm -hmm. so. Um, I actually bought the tickets uh, separately, like on their website. I, I did not buy them through the cruise line. The cruise line, you could do like the lumberjack show and the feast part of it, whereas I just wanted to see the tickets. So I just bought that. Not only that, there's tickets for sale here and there was more than enough, more than enough space, space for more people. So don't feel like you need to buy these ahead of time if you don't want to uh, commit to anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, we certainly had a blast. It was worth it. It wasn't that, wasn't that expensive. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they tell fun. you about the logging history and uh, catch a can, so. Mm -hmm. You could take a picture with them after too. And they also have a you know, lumberjack calendar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was fun though. I, yeah, I had a really good time. Yeah, come in plaid because uh, I know. you'll fit right in. I'm so sad that I missed my own memo. Wow, this is such a pretty area, eh? It's gorgeous. So we just got through to Creek Street. We'll have to read the signs. There were so many people there, we couldn't get yeah, to the sign. It's but a popular I sign. wonder why, like, like what you know, what's cool about Creek Street? Cool about Creek Street. What's the history I feel behind like it? Like the cool bridge, the photo op, and then I feel like the Welcome to Ketchikan sign is on this side. Yeah, um, I wonder like. So why this street like it kind of exists okay, we'll have to take a look at the sign i know once maybe the amount of people calm yeah. down we'll uh, <laughs> take another look actually they have a great sign here that's yeah, just I'm like a little up. walking tour of it it looks like it was the red light district i didn't know this guys i didn't know anything about okay. creek street but uh there were speakeasies they had the dolly arthur outlived the turnover of many girls with the stage names such as frenchie prairie chicken <laughs> deep water mary and dirty neck maxine wow. okay it says uh, ketchikan was known as uncle sam's wickedest city wow they used to uh, bootleg hooch down the stream i guess check check one of these old ads out Three glorious weeks of exotic bargains. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come early. Avoid the rush. <laughs> we are at the Dolly's house. One of the creek's longest working residents. Her real name was Thelma Copeland. Interesting. I like her quote because this is like kind of similar to me because I, I grew up with old boys. So looking back on her silly. career, shortly before her death at the age 88, she said, I guess men thought I was fun and attractive because I always seemed to have more friends than the other girls on Creek Street. I could never get along with the other girls, you know, but I never had any trouble getting along with the men. So you need cash to do the Dolly's tour. It's only 10 bucks each, so sounds like it'd be something to do. We just don't have any cash. We have an ATM in one of the buildings. So, so apparently an ATM nearby. want to, we can go grab some Yeah, and we'll see. We'll continue the walk. Uh, but if you want to do the Dolly's house, make sure you bring 10 bucks cash each. We are making our way down the creek here towards the uh, Totem Center. Walking right next to the creek is it's very nice. Nice breeze. <laughs> yeah, nice shade. breeze in the shade on a hot day. And yeah, it's beautiful. Ketchikan Totem Heritage Center. Maybe we'll take a look. There is a cost to get in. I'll show you here in a second. Looks pretty cool. I think maybe we were thinking about doing a hike 
on the Deer Mountain Trail. Um, it's not too far from where we are now. So you know, adults are six dollars. Elders over 65 is going to be five dollars. Children, military, and local residents are free. So they're just charging cruisers, basically. <laughs> That's fair. so cool. Did you know that this canoe is made out of one western cedar log? So they had to hollow it out. The water was heated to its boiling point using red hot stones. The water and steam made the wood pliable, allowing the sides to bend. We are just so you know, uh, my memory mm -hmm. card on the camera is full. So we're back to the back to the old ways. <laughs> this would be a good test to see like one, we don't even have the mic attachment in here, so you'll have to let us know how it sounds, but. What'd you think of the Totem Museum? It was pretty interesting. It was small, it was quick. Um, just a little bit, you know, had some totems, had some. Had some really old. Cool yeah, ones. really old ones. I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, just some of the tools that they used and that sort of thing. So we're going to head towards this Deer Mountain Trail, I think, and uh, we'll see where that leads us. Mm -hmm. Guys, I just did an audio test and I realized None you haven't been footage. hearing anything this whole time. Yeah. We are probably almost there. I hope so. I was telling Kayla it's about the journey, not the destination. Apparently there's not going to be anything good up there. I looked at Google Maps and was like, oh my god, it's just green. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because you guys probably haven't heard us say anything since the Heritage Center. But this hike, we were saying, has been more difficult than our last one in just the uh, hike in Skagway. It's been get, very steep. Yeah, just the hike to get to the entrance to the hike <laughs> yeah. was like completely straight up. Yeah. I wanted to die. And it's been really rocky. I'll show like some of the clips where I was talking. Uh, there was a map that basically showed the way, but... You never see another map again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can put it together for you guys in a way where you can at least come on this journey with us. We're getting pretty high up there now. I'm ordering that pizza. Yeah, <laughs> calories in, calories out, right? We are doing the Deer Mountain Trail. It wasn't too far from the cruise port and is it really close to the Heritage Center? So it's something that you want to do. It was, uh, Kayla was able to find it on Google Maps, so you should be able to find it easily. How you doing there, Kayla? Never better. Breath. Never better. Yeah, check this out, guys. I feel like we're close. So, just taking a little breather. You guys might not even know, because I don't know what came through the audio. I haven't looked that far back. But I just switched to the GoPro, because my camera memory card is full. And I'll have to switch. So, running into some technical difficulties today. But we hope you're enjoying the hike. We certainly aren't. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just five more minutes. <laughs> it's uh we're kind of walking up a stream now um pretty steep bring waterproof shoes. yeah kale says bring waterproof shoes but i wouldn't want to do this i could do in boots you don't want boots and it's not it's probably normally raining yeah this is like a, a day that's nice so you might not get to do this every day so we bumped into a, another hiker he said 15 more minutes and there's a lookout and he said trust me it's worth it so after hearing that 
I only believed him because he had a dog. Yeah, yeah. Well, dogs are trustworthy. So, we're gonna keep going. See if we can get to this lookout. We gotta be getting close. We gotta be. If there is not a mimosa waiting for me at the top of this <laughs> mountain, and if this view doesn't, you know... Your diamond vouchers don't work here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Think how good pizza and beer at Fat Stands is gonna be when we get back. I didn't think the trail would be this hard, but I'm sure glad we're almost there. Also, I don't think people realize this about me. I don't work out. Why'd you do that? Well, I thought you were gonna talk about your shoes. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why give me the up down? <laughs> we don't just show them that I don't work it looks out, right? <laughs> but no, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I do not frequent a gym. I do not participate in any sort of cardio or like cute little Zumba classes. So my heart is going to explode. Come on, you guys, drop a comment. Way to go, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> Give a like and a subscribe for her efforts. Guys, I think, I think we are there. I think it's coming up. We can witness this together. If this is it. Oh my god. Here we go. Are you ready? Holy fuck. I mean. Wow. Holy. Look how high we are. Oh my god. Can you believe we climbed that high? No, I mean yes. Because my ankles and my knees are telling me. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we climbed Deer Mountain Trail. I'll tell you. How... How many floors? And this is only as of five minutes ago. Okay, so we, so we had to climb a lot more. So, so I had more floors. How many ago. flights do you think we've done? Well, Skagwave did 60, so say 70? 92. 92 and flights of stairs, up rocks. So 9,000 steps, just shy of 9,000 9, steps. 9,000 steps. Wow, so if you want to kick your butt, this is definitely beautiful. I'm so mad that my camera is out of batteries, but uh, wow. let's see if I can send the drone. So Kayla, do you feel accomplished? You know what? I complained the whole way up, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. um, and it was hard, hard work, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, pretty magical though. Uh, the view was very good, it was very worth it. Um, I don't know if you can hear me from walking away from you. Probably harder, yeah. Um, bring bug spray. Yeah, we definitely. packed it. We didn't bring it and we should have brought our... Um, Why don't we think before we get off the ship? We're just know, so excited, We're we just, just get off. Also, bring a first aid kit because we ran, apparently there's a landslide just about on yeah. the other side of this and someone fell and injured themselves. So, yep. kind of wish we would have brought that because we also packed one of those. Bring it in our suitcase, but don't bring it with us on port. I don't know. How does that make sense, that. guys? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys are smarter than us, though. Yes. But we're going to head down. I'm going to save... This was not on the itinerary. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to save some battery because I have a feeling once I get down to the bottom, I'm going to be switching to my phone. So, I'm going to be like camera, GoPro, and then phone. And uh, hopefully it's not too painful for you guys to watch. It was really beautiful. Uh, I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for some activity. A lot of activity. A lot of activity, Kayla says. But uh, also kind of sketchy. If you have trekking poles or something, maybe that would help. But um, we saw people of all ages do this. So uh, you're probably good to do it. Just know you're you're in for one. It took how long, Kayla? A couple hours? So an hour. An hour and five minutes. That's here. actually not bad. It felt like a couple hours. Well, now we got another hour back. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, creek. Oh, cold. 
better. One way to do it. Yeah. See how, uh, wow, your hat is soaked in sweat. Mm. Nice and cool and refreshing. Oh, yeah, that is cold. Holy crap. Oh, it feels so good, though. It does, doesn't it? I, I feel like we could even drink this, but I'm not going you know to. What? It looks really clear, but we never mess around with. I yeah, learned. we're almost back. See, we learned something in Sitka. Kayla, why don't you t tell me what you just said? I forgot about it. This is a good sign. If you see these, that means there's no bears. If you see these leaves with no yellow things, that means there's bears because these are a bear's Their favorite, favorite snack. snack. Wow. I was listening. Yeah, you <laughs> were. I, I remember him saying that, but yeah, you have a good memory. Or good to know there is no bears, bears? here. Uh, I don't blame them. Can you imagine them trying to come up here? They're like, probably this is... I imagine... Bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did it. We're back at the bottom of Deer Trail Mountain. Yeah, Deer, Deer Mountain Deer Trail. Mountain yeah. trail. Oh, that I was... Sweating. My legs are shaking. My feet are sore. Yeah. The coming down the mountain was just as difficult because... Slippery. It's so rocky, slippery. Wet. There's like, you're like walking through streams at some times. Yeah. Yeah. And before when you'd have to like, you know, lift and climb, now you're trying to like gingerly step down so you don't... Yeah, you're being careful. So... Now we have another 20 minutes downhill. Yeah. Back to town. We gotta walk back to town now. Yeah, so another 20. Here, let's um, stop and do a uh, quick step count here. Okay. Let's see. How many steps we at? This was again only we're still got 20 minutes to go though. Do we want to? I know. Well, it's only it's not live, but we're at 97 floors and 12,095 steps. Not bad. Not bad. Good little exercise here in Ketchikan, well, Alaska. My fitness app is gonna be like, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you moving so much? Yeah. We are gonna walk back to town. We desperately need food, food. water, yes. alcoholic beverages. <laughs> We gotta rehydrate oh. to dehydrate, right? We earned it. <laughs> Almost back on board. Long walk. Everywhere is like a 40 minute wait for food. So I think the easiest thing for us to do is to, we only have a couple hours before we leave. So just head to the wind jammer for a quick snack. Get a nice little beverage. Shower. Shower, yeah, change. Recharge the phone batteries and my own personal battery. <laughs> And yeah, then, the uh, hangar's starting to kick in. I can yeah. feel it. Wow, this there's last year's total for rain. What does that say? Hundred and eighty inches. Hundred and eighty inches sunshine. of liquid sunshine last year. Yeah. That is crazy. We are back on board. I have the camera back. I have the proper mic attachment back. So I hope it's a lot better now. We are still haven't had anything to drink or any food. So we are gonna go to the wind jammer immediately and get something and I'm hoping I can get a, like a, one of the big foster beers there. <laughs> Kayla is struggling but we don't want to eat too much because it's formal night tonight so you got this. You climbed a mountain today. That's true. You can do anything. Okay. I, I might need help getting up though. <laughs> I just got a burger, fries, hot dog, three glasses of lemonade <laughs> and a coffee. And Kayla's got some veggies, rice, and fries, and a lot of water as well. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it feels so good to like drink something. I'm mm -hmm. so thirsty. Mm -hmm. So Kayla, it's formal night tonight. Do we go to the main dining room or do we go to Zoomy again? Sorry, I just had to. I couldn't stop. Um, I mean. I know you like the Zoomy. I love the Zoomy. Main dining room, there was nothing like yeah. exciting. Like, the only reason to go to the main dining room on formal night is because of the lobster. And yeah. I don't eat lobster. So, and I think the last couple times you got it, you said it was like, okay. Yeah, and there's, it's only one each now or something like that. Which is good. If, if for every, I think I heard one. for every extra one, you pay an additional good. charge. That's excellent. We gotta stop the gluttonous. Yeah, it is nice because you can kind of do the New York strip with the lobster though and do like a little surf and turf. Mm -hmm. If you However, want to go to the main dining room, that is cool, but if you want to go to a zoomie. No, I'd like to do a zoomie. We decided to get in our Royal Caribbean robes mm -hmm. and head on up to the hot tub. Oh yeah. Help with the muscles, relax a little. Mm -hmm. 
maybe pass out a little, mm -hmm. and then uh, get ready for dinner. Get ready for dinner after. <laughs> I absolutely passed right out in my pool chair after the hot tub. Mm -hmm. We are going to slowly get ready for dinner here. Uh, it's formal night tonight, and we're going to a Zoomy. I think we're going to call and see if there's any reservations. So uh, we'll just get ready, and we'll see you here in a bit. Mm -hmm. And we're ready. Formal night number two. There was something going on tonight. It was karaoke superstar round three. Round three. The finals. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to uh, miss, it. miss it. So mm -hmm. we're going to see if we can eat at the sushi bar again. But first we're going to head down to the diamond lounge. Yep. Get our pre-dinner cocktails. A little coffee. I think it's official. We are on the way back. Almost, yeah. Almost we got over now, one so more sea day tomorrow. She's leaving any minute now. I'm kind of hoping it's as nice as it's been last Yeah, if we could have a nice little pool day tomorrow, that'd be fun. Pool day in Alaska? Like, yeah. I was sitting on the balcony earlier, and I was like, where are we? Because it's not Alaska. I know. Like, it's 23 degrees in Ketchikan, and we didn't see a single not a drop. Of rain. And guys, if we haven't told you yet, we're going back to Seattle this time. We left out of Vancouver, going back to Seattle, and we're going to spend the day there. Uh, we're going to do things like the Space Needle, I think it's called Pioneer Square, we're going to go to the first Starbucks, we're going to do all the Seattle, the gum wall, we're going to do all the Seattle, like, um, touristy things. And we're excited, we're treating that as like a, still part of the vacation and another port day. Our uh, flight doesn't leave till like 6pm, so we have all day there, which is going to be great. We are back at Izumi. This is probably our favorite Royal Caribbean restaurant. One, I'm really happy because Kayla can eat her vegetarian gluten free with ease. Mm -hmm. And I love the food here too. It's so. so good. Like, yeah. And I, so good. You know what I love about it too? You can do it a la carte. Mm -hmm. And you only need, I probably mentioned this the other day, but you can just buy like one large plate and that's usually enough food. Kayla ordered so much food that he thought that they were ordering for two and he just walked away after Kayla's order. <laughs> it's not that much food. She I ordered, ordered three things. a seaweed salad, which is like a little bit of yep. seaweed. I ordered a little tiny thing of fried rice and I ordered a vegetable um, sushi roll. We have mochi ice cream. Not that we need any more food. Not that we need more, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate, mango, mango and strawberry. Kayla likes the strawberry. I'm gonna go for the mango, hands down. The mango is arguably one of the better ones. Yeah. I'm gonna start with the mango here. Okay, I'll start with chocolate. Let's do half of each. Okay. Sure. Okay. Mango. It sounded like a suggestion. It was more like a demand. <laughs> the motion of scream is interesting. It's like it's like a gelatin kind of thing on the outside. It's like a rice, um, mm -hmm. beans. Yeah, it's very good. Definitely gonna try it if you come to Izumi. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so much better. Uh, yeah. In comfortable clothing. Yeah. Cruising is about comfort, people. After you dress up. Dressing up is nice up. and fun. Participate. Have, have some comfortable clothes on standby for when all the Izumi just goes We are <laughs> headed to the Royal Theater to watch The Beautiful Dream. Yes, we are missing the karaoke superstar round three. We did, the karaoke final is actually tomorrow. This is just like round three. It's like in a weird time so, too. It's like at two in the afternoon or something, which is yeah. strange. So but, let's, let's head down to the theater, see what kind of seats we can get. It starts in like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. May or may not get a drink first. Well, Kayla, what did you think about the beautiful dream? It was beautiful. It really was. It had really good backdrops. Mm -hmm. They said no video recording, so I only probably took like a couple snippets for you. Mm -hmm. Um, just to be kind of respectful, but um, dancers were amazing. The singing was amazing. The props were amazing. Dancing, singing was amazing. I don't know if it really matters, but like I don't even know what the story of the beautiful dream is. So it's 
from what I gathered was like his wife passed away and then he was like not really living and so okay. he was able to like be with her and move on in this dream and like see Kayla children. got it she used yeah. to do dance and stuff I was <laughs> just like good singing yeah. <laughs> nice there backdrops was a, there was a story <laughs> yeah um, so uh, there was parts of it that were a little bit kind of hard to follow because like this dinosaur thing came in at one point and I, I actually like, thought the dinosaur thing so was cool. really cool it was probably the coolest part I didn't and catch I on video but in, but it was yeah. super cool. They made this, it wasn't a dinosaur, it was a dragon. Oh, and then they dragon. brought out wings right. and they had it like actually looking like it was flying. Like someone was controlling the head, someone was controlling the tail, someone was doing the wings. It was really cool. It was cool. really cool. Okay, but uh, we're going ahead an hour tonight. It is 11 o'clock. We have to shut her down. I want to do the sea day tomorrow. I want to try and do a ship tour with you guys. The good thing is, is that the ovation seems pretty easy to do because there's only like six awesome. decks with like things on them. So um, hopefully I can get that for you guys. And uh, we're on our way back to Seattle. So trip's not over yet. Um, good sea day tomorrow. Got to finish up the Ryan and Kayla Olympics. Ah, that's right. One one. But uh, please give us a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content so far. Uh, we got a lot of cruise cruises on the books in the next uh, year or so. We'd be happy to uh, share those experiences with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks well, for watching. If thanks you've for been watching. watching so far. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Have mm -hmm. a good night. Good night, everyone.